Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone um, to our session. Uh, unfortunately, our main presenter wasn't able to, to come, but thankfully one of his uh, amazing colleagues has kindly um, volunteered to um, do a short presentation uh, for us. Um, we'd like to say thank you to the sponsors of Aussie Live um, and the wonderful people who've helped to make this uh, conference happen. Okay. Um, if you haven't already, um, would you mind taking a moment to uh, drag a smiley face or a little world to where you are on the map, please? Alrighty. Um, I'll drop the mic. Uh, Nemo, you can um, control the slides, so if you're not sure which ones um, you want to talk to, then we'll make them move them on. So over to you, Nima. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Nima Vijay. Um, this presentation was uh, supposed to be spearheaded by Sebastian, our main presenter, but unfortunately, he could not join us. So um, I'm just um, taking a few moments uh, to present. Um, I'm basically from India, but uh, currently I'm residing in Virginia, USA. Um, I'm a homemaker, but I volunteer as a wiki educator. I'm also a connected educator, teaching and training educators online. Um, first of all, uh, you all can see the first slide. And that is uh, where I'd like to begin. Uh, for this, I would like to start with a brief uh, background about uh, my journey with uh, the, my e-learning journey. And uh, for this, I will have to mention my hometown, Kerala, which is a very small, beautiful state in the southwest region of India with backwaters, beaches, and tropical scenery. And um, this state of Kerala is um, the first state in India to become a completely literate state. And though we are blessed with premier educational institutions and 100% literacy, the educational system here is still in the industrial age, teaching to the test. Here the students are starving for the information-rich world in which they live, and they are burdened with the chalk and talk. And so we are eager to change all that, and uh, we have tasted the excitement of uh, global connections, thanks to Hello Little World Skyper, Global Classroom, Global Virtual Classroom, and uh, Wiki Educator. And the field of education has always been my area of interest, and rather my passion. And uh, so I was constantly on the lookout for opportunities to contribute socially and add value to the current teaching learning methods in Kerala. And as you can see the first slide, not so long ago, maybe not even more than a year ago, I read this notice. It was a notice that came up in a newspaper article. And uh, it also had a video clipping, um, all featuring the key educator, Hello Little Girl Skypers in Global Classroom. It caught my attention, and um, uh, right away I was impressed by the happenings in the small little state in India. And uh, it was an impressive initiative of, uh, of course, Mr. Sebastian Panikil. And uh, he launched the Learn English Online Club in Kerala and uh, gradually connected educators inland and abroad to improve their English language fluency. And um, slowly but surely, the educational islands in Kerala are now getting connected to the rest of the world through his missionary leadership and social inclusion programs of this wiki educator. And um, I got connected to him through uh, our common friend, Mr. Martin. You can see his picture on the slide. And uh, this was a notice in a local newspaper in the local language in Kerala. And um, thanks to him for introducing me to um, Mr. Panikil. And as you can see, the second slide, uh, this is a press meet that he organized in Kerala to uh, promote um, HLW, Skypers, and Wiki educators, and, and connect um, this little state to the whole world. And um, um, some of the highlights of the club, the, the Learn English Online Club, um, were as follows. 
uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, this one, yeah. Um, the highlights of the of the activities were the finance minister of Kerala, Mr. K. M. Mani, um, he was involved and he inaugurated this club along with uh, Mr. Michael Graffin from Australia. Uh, he's with us today. Michael, would you like to add something to this? Yeah, I actually remember that. Um, one of the, it was actually probably the first time I ever Skype with India. Um, I got to meet the finance minister of Kerala. Um, I also learned very quickly that whenever Sebastian uh, asks you to Skype with a couple of teachers, he usually means 200, which was quite entertaining and scary. <laughs> Um, and then um, the HLW Skyper Juniors, a vibrant bunch of uh, young boys and girls in Kerala, they connected with HLW Skypers all over the world and also from Australia. You can see Annie Merchant there. Um, Annie, would you like to uh, say a few words on your experience with it? Well, I could, but that's actually Tatiana from Russia. So it's actually Tatiana in the pictures down here. But I know I have connected with um, Sebastian and the students from India at times. And one time I was fortunate to talk to students about, uh, is it Children's Day in India? And they told me yeah. what it meant, you know, the impact of Children's Day. And it was just so special to think you could actually talk to students in Kerala, India, and hear what they have to say and what they are learning. Thanks, Nima. Thank you, Annie. And um, we are very grateful uh, to the support of the Hello Little World Skypers um, through the Classroom Wiki Educator Community. And um, we'd like to personally thank um, Veronica Wu from Malaysia, uh, Lindlin from Taiwan, uh, Sherman in South Africa, Catherine in Austria, um, Reynard Marx um, from Germany, um, Joe McNulty from USA, Tim Shanker from UK, Janet, our uh, super tech mentor, Gobind Prasad, Nepal, and um, the rest of them, too many names. Um, we thank each one of them um, for your support, for broadening our horizons and making, uh, making us dream big. And um, all such collaborations open the minds of students and teachers um, from their four walled classrooms to a whole new level, which they were unaware of until then. And uh, since then, Sebastian has been mentoring me, he introduced me to some excited 24-7 um, teams supporting each other anytime, anywhere learning. And um, we believe that education will not be changed in isolation. So we are all working together as a team. And uh, we're aiming at a social change, um, starting with a very small place like Kerala and then moving forward. And um, as Wiki educators, we also uh, would like to uh, you know, extend support to anyone who is um, uh, willing to uh, learn the Wiki educator way. And um, so with this, I think I would like to conclude my presentation and uh, once again thank Annie and uh, Michael for supporting me and uh, thanks everyone for joining this presentation. That was fantastic, Nina. Yeah, um, uh, if people have questions, um, we're more than happy to uh, give you the mic. If you could put your hand up or put your question in the chat, please. Um, Michael, I have something to say to this slide. This is me, Nina. Uh, so I was here, I came in over Skype, which is a really good tool to use. It's free, it's user friendly. Everyone around the world seems to be able to use and access Skype. So Sebastian asked me if I would come and talk to the children for International or Children's Day. And these are some of the children in India that I was able to talk to. And I think this was their first time 
at a computer and the first time using Skype, I think. So Nina, uh, this one is very special, Nina. Are you able to tell yes. us about this picture with... Yeah, go Nina. Um, I think... Um, uh, and would you be able to tell us because um, I think this happened before I joined uh, Sebastian, so... Um. Oh, okay. These two children come from an extremely poor school in India and a very poor community. And they actually, I can't remember how it happened, but they ended up on one of your television shows. Yes. And by doing that, they actually won a big prize, and they brought that prize back to, um, yeah, Paul might know what the TV show is. Paul, I'll give you the mic in a minute. But they brought the prize back to their village to help improve their education and to help the living conditions in the village that they work in. Paul, do you know any more about this television show? No, Nima, do you know what the name of this television show is? Yes, the name of the show is Kodi Shwaran and it is a very popular show in um, in India, in Kerala and uh, it is, it's a kind of a quiz uh, show where they um, ask questions and as you answer the questions you get um, a money um, in relation to uh, the, uh, the question. So um, you, you win a prize money um, by answering the question in the quiz. Yeah, that's the, that's the program. Okay, so, yeah, thanks, Annie, for, uh, for your, um, for, for sharing your words on that. So, Paul, so, Nima, Nima, Paul has put in the chat that the students yes. were trained by Mr. Sebastian and they got yes. the first prize. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, they got the first prize. Yes, I, I so, that, Michael, yeah. do you want to go to the next slide and see if Nima can talk to any more of them? Just click on the next one. Yeah, this is, um, this slide is, um, you can see me uh, on, on beside Catherine and um, Sebastian. So this is where um, Sebastian in introduced me to um, the Hello Little World Skypers and uh, he um, was facilitating me on uh, Connected Educators um, Starters Kit. Yeah, so that is where we started off. Uh, he introduced me to this um, amazing uh, journey of learning. So, yeah. That's about this slide. Yeah, this is um, Sebastian uh, connecting um, Preeti. Preeti is one, one of um, our, um, she's a guest lecturer in St. Albert's College in um, Kerala, India. And um, she was also supposed to join Sebastian today, but I think she she also couldn't make it. So he introduced her also to um, Hello Little World Skypers, and uh, he also presented at uh, St. Albert's College and um, created an awareness program about um, online learning, online teaching, and uh, the kind of opportunities that uh, we have uh, by connecting and collaborating with people, with educators all around the world. Yeah, this was uh, one billion rising, um, which again uh, Sebastian in initiated um, in the name of social networking homes, and um, it was a very large gathering of. Uh, you know, young people, especially women, from all over um, Kerala, India, and 
basically an, a women's empowerment program where they got together to share their views, to discuss about uh, how women can um, come forward in the society and um, be empowered. And um, it was a great gathering of, of a lot of people. Uh, uh, it was a day of music, dance, and uh, celebration. Yeah, Hello. this is also part of the Hello. Uh, Hello. one billion site. Yeah, I, I think Paul is with us. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning, everybody over there. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it is unfortunate that Mr. Sebastian and uh, Ms. Preeti are not with us. And had they been with us, the presentation would have been a great, I mean, success. But then, Nima, you heard, done a wonderful job. And I, if all the slides are available, you can go ahead, you know. In fact, we uh, might have given you some slides, you know. You can go ahead with that. I mean, uh, she has uh, involved the students of St. Arthur's College in Lepani, Kerala. And uh, if you have some idea about that, uh, you can also present Nima. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can take up this slide. Um, this is um, an aware wiki educator awareness campaign um, that was initiated in a, in a church uh, for the parish mm -hmm. members in Kerala. And uh, Preeti, um, who is also part of our team, uh, she was the one who, uh, who supported this uh, initiative. And uh, there was a gathering of um, many people who are interested in uh, learning um, the wiki way and uh, uh, even you know, we are planning to have more uh, such awareness campaigns and uh, bring more people into this uh, online e-learning world. Nima, if you have any slides of uh, read the, the corpus and um, show it, you know, so that uh, the attendees might get an bird's eye view of uh, what they were I mean, uh, I mean, having for presentation. Yeah. Yes. Do, do you have any slides yes. or uh, do you have some idea about that proposition, that project they were planning to present? Um, I, I do not have it with me right now, but um, I, I can you know, just talk about this slide, I think. Um, Mr. Paul is also on this slide. Yeah, and I'll say a few words now that uh, it is a wonderful opportunity for me and uh, having got the opportunity, let me introduce myself to you. I'm basically a banker. I retired from bank. I was uh, in the executive cadre for uh, 35 years and uh, I want to share my experience with my fellow friends. Uh, across the world, whatever little knowledge I came from banking, audit, and uh, things like that, you know. I wish to be a lifelong learner. Uh, so now I am a teacher, but then I have uh, great friends over here. You know, I was got introduced to this media through Mr. Sebastian Anakil. He's a great friend of mine. He's my, in fact, mentor and uh, I look forward to I mean uh, Mr. Sebastian for uh, studying this uh, what you call uh, plat I mean education through these platforms you know and uh, it has enormous potential in this part of India that is what some country we call it Kerala and involving the teachers and the students you know and uh, they have so many novel projects, one after another we wish to I mean, bring in and uh, uh, that's all what I can say, it is unfortunate we are missing uh, our friend Mr. Sebastian and uh, Ms. Privy. in fact we have been uh, expecting a very good presentation and anybody who knows Mr. Sebastian, I think the seniors I mean, present here 
uh, much like any Muslim might know him personally. He has been with this, I mean, uh, education, online education for the past uh, 15, 20 years like that. So such a person having enormous experience in online uh, teaching, you know, we can cash in on him and uh, the, I mean, association with friends like Miss, uh, Miss Nima, which I will be a great asset for all of us. We look forward to working together with all of you. Over to Miss Nima. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Paul, for uh, adding your um, ideas and views on this. Uh, this is indeed a great support for me. And um, yeah. as you can see in the slide, um, um, the various uh, connections and collaborations that uh, Sebastian has been in initiating from Kerala uh, to the rest of the world, connecting with um, Hello Little World Skypers and Catherine. And um, um, yeah, yeah, as you can see um, in the, the bottom right part of the slide, um, Sebastian is with a young uh, lady called uh, Susan. Um, she is uh, a, a very young entrepreneur who is into uh, making jewelry and handmade jewelry and uh, Sebastian is promoting her um, craft as well. And uh, yeah, and there is others who are also involved and interested in this um, connections and collaborations. Yeah. Those are the other people in these slides. Yeah, this is Penelope uh, with Mrs. Sebastian, uh, and these are her um, creations, handmade uh, jewelry, um, which she's been working on. And um, the, the the part below that is uh, you can see Roshni and her daughter, and uh, connecting with Mr. Jeffrey. And uh, Roshni is also part of our team, and she's uh, running a home school. And she often connects her students with um, the Hello Little World Skypers um, teachers and their students. And uh, they have a great time learning from each other. Yeah. That's right. Um, is there any more slides? Yeah, I think this is the um, end of the slide. Yeah. So, thanks a lot uh, to Annie, to Michael, and Mr. Paul. Thank you so much for being there and uh, for supporting me, even though Sebastian could not join. And I'm sure I couldn't have been. You have done a wonderful. Thank you so much. You have done a wonderful presentation, Nima. And thank you all for participating and attending this session. And uh, I, wish, I wish to personally thank all the vertical team over there, um, Ms. McGuffin and uh, I, I don't remember the names, uh, Annie and all those, you know, and, and who are given this uh, support, you know, in the absence of Mr. Sebastian. We are really grateful to you and uh, yes, we, yes, we are really, really indebted to you all, the team. Uh, the, okay, for coordinating this function in here. Anyway, we could, I mean, share with you uh, some of the, I mean, uh, uh, beautiful projects in the way which can be, I mean, uh, made use of by the households in Kerala and the kids, you know, they can, they can also do a lot in propagating this, I mean, that lot of skills while on, I mean, uh, while on education at this person and substance of this uh, presentation. Anyway, oh, thanks a lot for all of you for the opportunity for giving me to address you. Thank you. We just like to say thank you to Paul and Nima, because I know Anne and I in particular have been following um, Sebastian's work and your work for the last couple of years. And this is probably the first time we've actually been able to put a human face and a human voice to the projects and the uh, activities that are going on.
So thank you for sharing. Um, it looks like Anne's got a question for you, so I'll drop the mic. Thank you, Nina. Uh, that was absolutely terrific. We could understand you. You spoke really confidently. And thank you, Paul. I would like to know, though, what access to technology do children have? Do they have mobile phones or, um, I've forgotten what you call them, handheld phones? And what computers are in schools? And how do you teach, how do you learn how to use technology? So I'll put the questions in the chat as well. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Annie. Um, the, the schools in uh, Kerala, uh, they do have computers, and they do have uh, computers as a subject to learn. But the use of computers is very limited, and uh, it is used uh, very much only in, in, in the classroom, in the four, within the four walls. There is no connection or no collaboration with anyone outside the classroom. So uh, all they learn is how to use the computer and maybe they, they browse a little bit and uh, uh, all that, but uh, there is no um, collaboration or um, there is nothing much happening outside um, the, the, the school and the curriculum. They do have mobile phones, but um, mobile phones are mostly not allowed in schools in, in Kerala. Uh, they are not, uh, the students are not allowed to use them in schools. And um, at home, like not m most of the students have um, computers or laptops at home. Only a handful of them have it. So even if the students are given um, some assignments or some projects to work on from home, most of them will not be able to do it because they do not have access uh, at home. And they will have to maybe uh, go out to a browsing center, and which is not um, very much encouraged by parents in, uh, in Kerala. So there are uh, quite a few um, problems like that that the, the students and teachers are facing in Kerala. Hope I answered your question, Annie. Uh, yes, you did. How old are students when they leave school in Kerala? How old? What age are they? Um, they are uh, 15 years old when they leave school in Kerala. And they move on to a pre-university, which is uh, for another two years. And then they take up a graduate course, which is for three years. And it goes on like that. All right. Do we have any more questions? You're welcome to talk bold if you like. Thank you very much, Nima and Paul, um, for an absolutely fascinating uh, session. Um, we're very proud of you both for coming on uh, in Sebastian's absence, and I know he'll be very proud of you as well. Okay, so if there's no more questions, I'm going to stop the recording here. All right, thank you very much.